Well, hello. Today is Friday, May 26th. We have two birthdays today. Today is Paula Paisley. So, Paula, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paula. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Susie Schofield's birthday. So, Susie, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susie. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you both have a great birthday. Look at me all discombobulated here. Oh, I've had the day. I've had the day today. I wasn't going to do a video today even, but then I have two birthdays. And I thought, i got to do a video today. i got birthdays. i got to sing. But my day started off stressful. And it's been that kind of a day all day long. I am, like, ready to explode. Um, for the last three days... I've been getting these alerts from Verizon for a code. Here's the code you requested for your phone or whatever, for your service. But they come like in the middle of the night, like at 2 o'clock in the morning, 3.30 in the morning, quarter to 4. And then I always say in the morning I'm going to call Verizon and see what's going on with it. Well, this morning I got a Verizon Bing, like at 7.45. And it said, um, all the changes to your account have been made. If you did not make any changes to your account, please call. Well, I did not make that one change to my account, so I called Verizon, and um, there's I, there's no polite way to say it. I got an idiot on the phone. She was just a downright idiot because she would not explain. She could not understand that I did not make any changes to my plan. And she says, "Well, no, you went into the office yesterday and you made changes to your plan." And I said, "I did not make any changes to my plan." I said, "What exact plans changes did I make?" Well, you changed your address. And I go, um, I haven't moved. And they said, so where do you live? And I said, I live in Michigan. And she says, well, no, your new address is in Miami, Florida. And I go, well, I don't, I don't live in Miami, Florida. That's the wrong address. Somebody's hacked into my account. And she says, well, are you planning on moving to Miami, Florida? <laughs> and you just forgot? Yeah, I forgot. I forgot tonight that, that tomorrow I'm moving to Miami, Florida. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was just so annoyed so then i said i'd like to speak with the supervisor well you know what happened we all know what happened disconnected completely disconnected so i called back talked to somebody else i had to go through the whole spiel again to explain everything all over again get all done with them and they said well we're gonna have to file a fraud complaint and i said fine she says please hold you guessed it disconnected once again so I called back the third time, and I got a really nice guy. But it was like, by that point, I'm ready to explode. Because now I've invested almost an hour on the phone with this particular problem. And so I talked to this person, and uh, the, the previous two people didn't put any notes. Not one, not one note in any of the things that they did. They were incompetent. They were idiots. So... Uh, he worked with me and we got it all straightened in that. Uh, he worked with me to change everything, to get it back, to change it so that I have to have like a two-person authentication code now. And it's just, and removed any charges that uh, they might have been like adding phones to their plan or whatever. I don't even know how they got my, I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. Like Facebook when they hack you. Why do they do it on Facebook? Verizon, I can understand. They're going to order phones. They're going to put their services on mine. So I got that all taken care of. So then we have the people coming for our porch, and he was supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock he called and he said, can I come at 12? And I said, that'll be fine, you can come at 12. Uh, so I'm waiting. I have things I got to do. I got things I got to do, but I thought, oh, I don't got time to go do them right now because Jim had gone to the, to the gym without me because I was waiting for the people to come to work on the porch. And uh, comes 12 o'clock, they're not here. And then at 2 o'clock, they finally show up, and they go, well, we're, we're going to go to lunch. <laughs> lunch? You haven't even been here yet. I realized that they had other jobs than that. But he says, do you mind if we work till like, it's dark at 9 o'clock? I said, fine, whatever. So then I started to do my bills because I'm getting ready to go on vacation next uh, week. And so I want to get all my bills paid before I leave so I can know how much money I have to spend. And uh, 
I opened up my AT&T bill and it was $165 more than it was last month. Now I usually, I have the, which I think I'm gonna get rid of. I know I'm like a dinosaur, I have a landline, but I'm paying $50 a month for a landline, which I think is kind of silly, really. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get rid of that. I pay $50 for my internet and I thought, I thought I was paying $154 for my TV service with all my programs and stuff that I have on it. Um, no, that went up from $154 to um, $265. $265. So my total bill was $365. And when I talked to the person last month, because I was trying to get on another plan, they said they gave me a $50 credit. He said, well, that is with the $50 credit. I said, so my bill was over $400? Well, you know, you got this and you got that. and that. So I, oh no, no, let me talk to somebody. So then we talked to somebody else and uh, they, um, they, what do you call it? Disconnected. I thought, I couldn't think of the word because that's how stressed I am. They disconnected me. Oh, I was so annoyed. I was so annoyed. So I called back, got hold of somebody else and they said, well, we can give you a $20 credit. I said, on top of the $50 credit that I was promised last month by, and I write down, I document every time I call. And I said, I talked to Matthew last month on the 7th of May at 1.47 p.m. in the afternoon. And we talked for 37 minutes. And you know, I have it all documented. And this is what he told me. Then this is how much is. And I have it all written down. And they go, oh, yeah, that's all in the notes. But we did take that off. And that I said, but he promised me that my bill this month was going to be $240. And when I got my bill and it was $360-some dollars. Well, he gave me your $50 credit. And I go, no. So then we got arguing about that. And then I told him, I says, every time I try to do something, I get disconnected. You're AT&T. You're a phone service. You have my phone number listed. You're working with me. So when we get disconnected, call me back. Oh, I am so sorry. That should never happen. We will always call you back. Guess what? Disconnected. No call back. So call back again. Talk to somebody else. Talk to a manager this time. And the problem is that we have UVerse, which they're trying to get rid of. They don't want people to have UVerse anymore. They want you to either have the DirecTV, which we refuse to have DirecTV. We had DirecTV put in the satellite every time it just sprinkled or looked like rain. If it was just cloudy, like there's a little bit of mist in the air, we, we lost our signal. So they come in, they readjust the satellite. And then if, like if it got snow or water on it, you had to go out there and clear it off. So we complained about that. So they finally decided to put it in the ground. And when they did and they went into the house, they hit the main electrical outlet for the house and blew the whole power, the whole power to the house. I had, we had no electricity. It was in the middle of winter. It was on a Friday night. It was like six o'clock at night when he hit the power. How he didn't electrocute himself, I don't know. And uh, he says, well, uh, AT&T can't restore your electrical power until next week. But if you want to pay for an electrician to come to hook up your power, we'll pay you back. Now, granted, they did pay me back, but I had the inconvenience of trying to find somebody to come out on an emergency call. I had to come up with the money to pay for them to do the emergency hookup for my thing. And ATT paid me back. Didn't give me anything extra for my inconvenience. Yet, I stick with them because I'm a fool. I'm a fool. So... Talked to this guy and he said, you know, uh, we want to get rid of it. And I said, you could give me direct TV. And this is a true statement. I know people say, oh, sure, Sandy, if they gave it to you for free, you would take it. No, I wouldn't. Because you have the time, you don't have the TV satellite going on. The way in my neighborhood is, the satellite doesn't work half the time. No one in my neighborhood has direct TV for that simple reason. We must be in some kind of a black zone or something. We're close to the Air Force Base, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But I just think that... It doesn't work. So I said, you could give it to me for free, and I would not take it. And he says, well, we do have a plan with uh, through the Internet, where it's like a streaming service. And I go, well, how much is that? You know what? Disconnected. No callback. So it's just, it's just been a day. It's really been a day, and I wasn't even going to get on here. And so Jim and I are having pizza for dinner, and I'm going to have pop, and I know I'm stress eating. I'm aware of it. I've already had between the Verizon call and the AT&T call, I had a piece of frozen cake. I told you just because it's frozen doesn't mean I won't eat it. And uh, I have gone way off the rails. And the, the sad part is, as I'm feeding my face, I realize that I'm, this is why I'm doing it. But I'm still doing it because it just, I just, it's just programmed into me. And I know it shouldn't be, but it is. And I'm acknowledging the fact that 
I know that people say that there's no such thing as a stress eater. Well, I am a stress eater. And I know stress causes you to eat. Okay, then I have a lot of stress today. It's causing me to eat. But I, I just, I'm just like, I know this is such a rant. This is a rant. It's like, this is the side of Sandy that sometimes you don't see. But you know, this is life with Sandy. The, the only calming portion of my day was from one to three today because I was watching Kim, Kim's, uh, Kim, a girl on her phone. I watched her live feed. So I was like, hmm. so thank you, Kim. That was like between one and three was my only calm period through the whole day. There was the only two hours that I was calm. And like, if I was to take my blood pressure right now, I think that it would, wouldn't even read. It's that high. So I need to calm down. So uh, I will be in a way better frame of mind tomorrow. I will be back on my plan tomorrow. I'm going to enjoy the pizza. Birdie's coming over tonight. She's going to pick up the pizza. And then we'll probably watch some movies or something. But I stick a fork in me. I'm done for the day. I am just done for the day. It's just not been one of my better days. <laughs> is all I can say. It's not been a better day. But this one day is not going to define my weight loss on Monday. Because I've been good the rest of the week. And I plan on being good the rest of the weekend. So thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and share. <sighs> only me, it seems like. Only me. I just... I don't know. Where's customer service gone? Because I don't think there's such a thing as customer service anymore. They could give a rat's ass if you stay with them or not. They really, they could, they'll step over your dead body. I don't, they don't care. They don't care. Yet the people up on the top, they're making all the money. They're making their big bonuses. And okay, I got to go. Talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>